Even no means no warrant article. If it's that important for <coughs> the safety of the children, put it in your operating budget. Yet they decided to leave it as a warrant article to have the voters decide on it. Any other comments or questions? Okay, so um, we're on Article 5 um, as written. All those in favor of moving. Point of order? Yes. I don't think we're supposed to be voting, are we? Don't we just pass this along? Yeah, oh, we have, to vote. we have to vote? You have not voted on the first two articles. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. So do we just like move it? Yes, I don't need to ask for a vote here. When nobody else gets up, we're done. This is totally correct. I don't no need to ask for a vote because it moves automatically to the, to the ballot. Thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Okay, moving on. Um, Article 6. Shall the district vote to raise an appropriate up to the sum of $60,000 to be placed in the Technology Expendable Trust Fund established in March 2008 for the purpose of upgrading the technology at the hooks at schools? This sum to be funded from the June 30th, 2012 undesignated fund balance recommended by the school board, recommended by the budget committee. I would entertain a motion to move this article as written to the ballot. So moved. Is there a second? I second. Uh, would you like to speak to it, Mr. Sullivan? Yes, I do. Uh, and a good advice from Ginger, this has no impact on new taxes, it's from fund balance. Thank you, Ginger. I had that list right here. All right, I knew people were gonna ask that question. But to get to the warrant, uh, this warrant article is for $60,000. However, uh, just so you know, uh, the $60,000, however, our, our anticipated needs, um, it may, we'll, may exceed that amount. If that warrant article passes, our technology director will advise us of, uh, and prioritize the list of equipment needed and uh, go before the school board. So uh, we will uh, put a prioritization of monies on that $60,000 when we uh, pass that. If it gets passed and when it's come back to the school board for their review. Right over the floor to questions, concerns? Okay, moving on. Who are the, uh, is this an authorization to spend up to $60,000? I mean, who are the agents, and if yes, who are the agents to expect? Okay. I believe uh, this Hope to School Board is. Okay. And what is the, is there a current balance in the trust fund? It's zero, I see people on the project. Minimum. Minimum. 300 and some odd dollars. 300 and some odd dollars. Yes, yeah, and uh, just one more point, uh, Madam Chair, uh, uh, not last year, but the last uh, previous two years before that, uh, this was a similar one article uh, that was approved by the voters. Mm -hmm. yes. I, I don't support this one article. Um, if you take a look at the record, last year, after the fund balance spent to buy uh, iPads, you can read minutes from the tech committee meeting that uh, they had to decide what they were going to do with them because they've been approved. I see a lack of plan here. I currently have a right to know file to see if there was any alternative devices considered in any, in any price comparison or total cost of ownership, and they have none. Um, I don't feel that, that we should be funding technology, especially in this ever-changing world, unless we have a concrete plan before we put that money up there. Because the technology that we buy is quickly going to be outdated. So we need to have a plan to be able to utilize it and buy only what we need. And we need to consider that saturation level. How many devices we actually need. And I think we need to see that come forward to know that this money is going to be well spent and not purchase something that becomes obsolete in a couple of years and we're looking at you know, buying again. Thank you. Again, a little, a little more feedback as of discussions during our deliberations and reviews. Uh, my memory of it is, first of all, in, in, uh, to address uh, Mr. Pearl's uh, initial comment here, uh, during the uh, May-June of this year's, uh, this past year's uh, fund balance purchases, out of the $224,000 that they purchased, uh, made purchases in June, 
$130,570 was made for technology use. A lot of that was uh, laptops and iPads for the teachers, uh, wireless uh, act, uh, improvements, and, and, and other like. Um, this, I, I think also the discussion was uh, there's already a, a BYOD, bring your own device, uh, program that's currently under, under uh, use right now, still under uh, a review as to whether it will be successful or not. Um, during school board meetings, they've already basically declared it is a success even before the six month survey was conducted. Um, so to, to comprise that with the current funds that are already being collected, and in addition with the war on Article 60,000, I'm not saying I'm not going to support this. I'm just bringing it forward that there are other options here that to be considered. Thank you. Yes, that was a little bit of the end of the night. Madam moderator, the assertion that uh, laptops and iPads were purchased for teachers, as was stated, is incorrect, and they were purchased for student use. There was thirty. There was thirty laptops and iPads provided for each school for student for teacher use, and they were allowed to bring them home for the summertime to, to test them out for for September's um, school school openings. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm the one who authorized that, so I. That's all I meant by that. I'm, I'm glad that I'm being set straight what I authorized. The laptops and the iPads were purchased for student use. Over the summer, teachers were allowed to take the iPads home to familiarize themselves with them so that they'd be familiar when they use them with the kids in the spring. I mean, excuse me, in the fall. They are not for teacher use, they're for student use. Thank you. I have no further add. I don't have to add that. Thank you. Brenda Humbo, 56 Main Street. The more I sit here, the more confused I get. Because all these warrant articles are recommended by the budget committee, and yet the budget committee should be getting up here and knocking them down. So I'm, I'm confused if the budget committee recommended them or not. So I don't know. I have to think that only one person from the budget committee came up and uh, said it, and I think if you looked at the vote, it would probably reflect that the majority of it. I'm up here to, to say that I, I actually endorse this. I like the idea of the fact that uh, it can go before the public uh, and they can vote on it if it's a priority or not um, and utilize the fund balance spending as long as it's disclosed that that's what's going to happen. So I'm in support of this. Uh, the other thing is is that I will state that I'm um, in uh, also in partial agreement with uh, Mr. Pearl that uh, we definitely need a good plan and, and also uh, and some uh, more feedback and uh, understanding how technology is going to be implemented in the classroom and how this is going to be utilized to impact learning and, uh, and such, but I am in support of it. So just to clarify, those members of, of the budget committee that have been getting up to speak either uh, for or against different articles are speaking um, on their own behalf and not on behalf of the entire budget committee necessarily. Right. Thank you, Madam I, I would also clarify I, I would I would like to think that everybody in the audience here so that has seen that in every Warren article I am only addressing the information. I, I am not being adversarial or one or or partisan in one way. I'm trying to provide information. I, I just said a minute ago. I'm not saying whether I'm not sixty thousand. I approve sixty thousand or not. I was stating a point of order. Yeah. It's not a personal issue. Yeah. Can we move to the article, please. Mm -hmm. Would anyone else like to get up and speak to the article? Okay, so we are on Article 6, the expenditure of $60,000 for the Technology Expendable Trust Fund. All those in favor of moving, oh, we're not, I'm sorry. Thank you. I forget that, we don't have to vote on it. It moves to the ballot. I just want to vote. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. Um, moving on to Article 7. Shall the district vote to create an expendable trust fund under the provision of RSA 198 20C to be known as the Hooksett School District Strategic Planning Fund for the purpose of engaging consultants and related services to develop a strategic plan for the school district to include, but not be limited to, facilities, measurable learning goals, and a long-term plan for educating our, our high school students. Furthermore, to raise and appropriate up to the sum of $50,000 toward this purpose 
with such sum to be funded from the June 30th, 2012 undesignated fund balance uh, surplus and to name the school board as agents to expend from this fund. Recommended by the school board, not recommended by the budget committee. Uh, I would entertain a motion to move this article as written to the ballot. So moved. Is there a second? I second. Okay. Would you like to speak to the article? Yes, please. The Hosted School Board um, wanted to establish a fund to assist the district with strategic planning costs it may incur. Potential areas that may be used for include plans for future growth, learning initiatives, a revised long-term plan when it is next necessary, or long-term or a long-term plan for educating our high school students. These are areas that often require research and study by professionals. Additionally, this would provide a fund for any research or planning that needed to be done due to government mandates we may not know about it enough in advance for a budget. It no <coughs> enough about in advance to a budget season. <coughs> this fund would be taken from undesignated fund balance of the school district for the year ending 2011-2012. Then we'd like to address this. Yeah, we actually have an increase next year. No, I mean, we're talking in single digits. It hasn't, it hasn't been a phenomenal growth like uh, three digits over the last decade, has it? No, it's been very stable with growth. Okay. Uh, why are we studying uh, high school alternatives under these circumstances uh, and, and seeking to set aside funds to study high school when uh, our high school population is relatively stable and uh, it is at such a level that it probably doesn't, under any circumstances, warrant a separate high school? Is that a rhetorical question or are you asking? That's fine. No, I'm asking that. It sound, may sound rhetorical, but I'm really looking for an answer. Why, why the study of a high, a high school is included in this or an article, assuming those facts, which I think are accurate, and also the fact that we have been studying high schools for at least uh, four decades and uh, always come to the same conclusion. School board want to address Uh, Ms. Dennis, I think actually this, um, that Warren article isn't meant to be exclusively high school. Uh, and I think the, I think the board is um, uh, concerned about uh, long-term arrangements and what those arrangements look like and how satisfied this community is with those long-term arrangements. There may be several different <clears throat> ways to respond to identifying alternatives to the current high school agreements uh, that wouldn't necessarily mean the construction of a high school. Uh, there may be different partnerships. There may be uh, 